beautiful friends. This is the Organizer Advisor here to help you enhance your happiness and transform your life. Today is Thursday, June the 15th. We are halfway through the month of June. So what a wonderful month it's been. We are establishing some routines to help us keep up instead of catch up as well as systematically wearing our wardrobe, coming up with some laundry systems so that we're not spending every weekend trying to catch up on laundry. We're tidying up and cleaning up room by room so we can preserve our weekend time for family, fun, and rejuvenation. We are also really full steam ahead on our health and beauty routines Comment below if this is helping you, paying off for you. If you're noticing a difference, please let me know. And also, we are starting to feel better, feel more empowered, proactive, and reducing the amount of stress that we have in our lives, making our home a true soul sanctuary and an efficient space for us to live our lives with our loved ones. Okay, so what is today for our health and beauty routine, Dental Health Day? This is the day we whiten. You might want to do a little um, dental exam just to check your teeth. If you haven't been to your dentist in a while, you may want to go ahead and make that appointment. Check your toothbrush. If you didn't replace your toothbrush at the beginning of the month, remember we do it at the beginning of every month. We shop for sales and use coupons to buy our toothbrushes so that this new toothbrush will keep our teeth cleaner and healthier. Also, consider an alternative toothbrush um, instead of traditional plastic. You can get biodegradable plastic or bamboo. This is earth-friendly, planet-friendly, and it makes us feel good when we're doing good. So, that is our health and beauty routine for today. Remember that we are staying motivated and inspired to transform our lives and enhance our happiness and health. And we do that through daily exercise, 30 minutes. This is gonna lower your blood sugar, lower your cortisol, and improve your cardiovascular health, as well as make help you look and feel better because it gets your circulation going, as well as your metabolism lose a little weight as well as stimulate your skin and give you that healthy glow. Also remember to hydrate. Today hibiscus tea for me and um, remember if you're adding your collagen um, make sure that you remember if you have that collagen supplement to put the collagen either your tea or your water-based beverage to boost your collagen production and help plump your skin. Also, um, we, after we hydrate and exercise, we like to take time for stillness, meditation. This could be your cool down period. You can just read some inspirational quotes, spend time in scripture, prayer, or meditation, whatever facilitates your belief system and makes you feel relaxed and calm. This is going to help calm your body, calm your mind. Also, um, we eat clean, and if you take vitamins and supplements, gentle reminder to do so based upon your health practices and communication with your doctor. Okay, so that's our health and beauty routines for today. Dental health day, whiten that smile, give yourself some confidence, make sure that you are really giving yourself a good dental checkup so that you see any problems in advance and communicate those to your dentist. Exercise, meditate, hydrate, eat clean, take your vitamins and supplements. So what is our color for today? Remember, we are streamlining our laundry process. Instead of doing laundry on weekends, we're doing it through the week, one load a night, just combining colors. So today is purple or violet day. So you can wash your purples with your blues, combine those into one load so that you wash them, dry them, fold them, iron, mend, whatever needs to be done, to get them back in wearable condition, hang them back in your closet or put them back in the drawer. That way we keep up so we're not catching up and we preserve our off time for time with family, friends, loved ones, and rejuvenation for us. 
All right, um, our daily cleaning. This is Thursday. I always clean my kitchen on Thursday. I cook my meal early if I can, and then I clean and close the kitchen. So that way it's kind of closed for the weekend. I can cook if I want. Friday night is usually my use my gift card and go out to dinner or we go on a picnic or it can be family pizza night, whether you do family movie night, whatever. But I close my kitchen on Thursday nights. So then the weekend it's kind of um, I can cook when I want to, I can do heat and eat meals, but this gives me a break from the constant cleaning. I cook every single day. So you can go on my Facebook page, Raven Stoop Cottage, and you can see what's cooking in the cottage. And pretty much every day I have something that we are cooking here using the produce and the items that I have on hand. These are low cost, mostly inexpensive meals that you can cook in you know 30 minutes or less so I'm actually writing a cookbook based upon the recipes I've created using food that I have on hand so hopefully that will be published at the end of the summer but in our kitchen um, that is the most the room that has to function most efficiently but it is also the room that we avoid if it gets cluttered so your challenge today two challenges today your challenge today is declutter your countertops brighten up that space for you make sure that your light bulb is a bright white light not a yellow light a bright white possibly LED light that is going to brighten the space enhance the colors and it's going to be more inviting to you but also declutter your countertops see if you can put some of those small appliances away all the dishes that are on the countertops need to go in the cabinetry anything that's on the cab countertops that you do not use every day um, see if you can put those away for a little bit just take a few things put them away declutter second challenge is to kind of go through your refrigerator freezer and pantry you don't have to take everything out but just do a quick glance and see what needs to be used so what food do you need to use so that it doesn't go bad and it's wasted um, you can if you have vegetables or produce dairy and meats look there first if you have food in the freezer that you know has been in there a while you may want to consider pulling that out and seeing if you can make something of it like if you have hamburger that's been in there for a while maybe make a lasagna there's probably some lasagna noodles could be that you make spaghetti but start to utilize the food that you have on hand so that you capitalize on that investment that you made and we don't have food waste so your two challenges today, tidy up the kitchen, declutter your countertops, and just take a glance, see what food needs to be used because that would be something that I would um, make for a meal tonight because um, I'm going to be having focaccia tonight and I'll post pictures on my Raven Stoop site. Um, but I'm going to be using a lot of little cherry tomatoes and some green onions and some mushrooms that I have that need to be used. So I'm going to make a focaccia bread and that's going to close my kitchen. So that's the last of the um, produce that I need to use before I go do my routine shopping on Sunday when I make my menu and my ingredient list based upon what I need to use. So that is our day today. I hope this keeps you motivated and focused on keeping up instead of catching up. Hoping these daily inspirational reminders help you to just kind of keep motivated, create this framework for you to be able to get your life in this functional um, framework so that you have more time to do the things that you enjoy, like spending time with loved ones, family, and pets. All right, have a wonderful day. This is the Organizer Advisor wishing you health, happiness, and harmony, and I'll see you tomorrow.